M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Yesu FTX1. So we're playing around with WSJTX, we're not using anything like Ham Radio Deluxe or anything like that, just straight WSJTX. We've had some success here, you can see we've had a couple of contacts. Now what I haven't got is um, changing the frequency control. So it's going into transmit and I'm going to show you my settings on the radio and WSJTX. Now remember this radio has only just come out so uh, they'll probably add the FT71, sorry, FTX1 soon. But at the moment if we go file settings we're actually using FT991. Um, I'll show you the comms and it's 38400. Now it does say we have cat control here and that's actually to honest you, that's just appeared so i will test that in a sec but we've definitely got ptt control and we're having contacts um so <clears throat> let's show you the parameters 38400 board rate on mine it's com 18 so as soon as you plug the device into the pc go right click device manager like so double click um we actually get three comms up here one is USB serial and we get COM18 enhanced and COM16 standard. Now 18 enhanced is the one you use. Okay, so we'll go back to the settings. General, of course, your call sign, grid square. See the boxes that I've ticked. So basically the first three apart from the top one and the four there. That makes my grid tracker work. So that's what that is. I haven't changed anything on this apart from selected COM18 and put in the board rate and the radio. Audio, there's only one you can select, which is USB audio drive, and select them and then transmit, and that's on. So it's definitely working. <coughs> um, and we've enabled TX, and we got that one contact, and then it stopped. Now, noticeably, I noticed that my ALC is quite high. Hi, now I just tap the screen on the thing and you can actually select ASC and it is actually quite high um, on the ASC. Now you should, to get more contacts, you need to bring that down a bit, I would say. You can either change the settings on your speaker settings or you could try just lowering this power thing here. Because on the left here though, you really need it in the green. Um, so I would say you'd have to go right click and I'm doing this live with you sound settings see the one for your usb i always get confused whether it's the speaker or the mic i've got a feeling it's the speaker isn't it on transmit let's just do it live so look on the far left just here where it's in a minute when it receives it's green well it's red bring it down if it goes green you know that's the one <laughs> so i'm bringing it right down it's not making any difference So let's bring it back up. Uh, let's hold the, I'm just going to hold the transmit so we can get that into the green. So again, right click sound settings. And really, oh, there's the USB there. So, so I'm, I think I'm adjusting the wrong one. Not VB, not speak. Hmm. No, no, that is the right one. USB audio device. So let's go to the, uh, the not the speaker one. Let's go to the microphone one and bring it down. It's not really USB. It's not really doing anything, is it? Hmm. So someone will tell me how to do that. <clears throat> There's going to be a setting within that. But anyway, we did have a contact. We're going to enable TX again. I've showed you my settings. In the radio, now when you press and hold the function button, okay, and then go, let me just hold the TX a minute. And go to forward, forward, and to go to operation settings. And let's get the right one. One second. Yeah, it's actually, let's make the radio bigger. Ooh. Look, radio setting. If you've got SSB or data, yeah, 
I've set them both to mod source USB. Now probably if we go up, see the USB gain? Maybe, probably the gain, we could probably maybe lower that a bit. Maybe that will um, get us back in the green. Try it. Let's just go back for now. And again, let's go back in that. Red. Sorry about this, I'm faffing a bit. But SSB setting. Mod source, I changed it from auto to USB. And then again, the mod gain, maybe you might, if you go down, will that go into the green? Just sort of going down, to see if it does. But it was at 50 before, back. That's all I changed. Someone else is gonna say, change this, change that. Okay, I will. Let's back out. If you tap and press the press and hold the mode button, you can use the preset. I'm going to talk about that, but we're using data USB at the moment, so we're not using the preset. Let me just see. Remember that we had the 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 test cat come up. Now that wasn't coming up earlier. Let's see if it's still there. Radio taps. He's not co coming up, so. It, it was for a bit, wasn't it? It actually went green, didn't it? So I, I should have tried it then. If it would change the, here it says 20 meters. If I change to 40, let's try again. It doesn't change the radio, you see that? Now I reckon it would have done when we had the test cap come up and I don't even know why that came up because I haven't really changed anything. Um, the TX is still working. If I hit tune, it starts to work. I notice just now the green has come up. Let's try and change bands now. Let's see what it does. So it's on 20 meters. Let's quickly do it before it before the green goes. So let's go to we're on 2040. No, it see it stays on. It won't let me go to 40 uh file now i'm not saying there's a bug here it could, it's, this is you know this could be my my settings let's move sorry about this let's move this so let me know how you get on with it <clears throat> see the test the test cat has gone now and um yeah learning every day i mean we, we did have a contact you saw it thanks for watching so far i catch you soon bye